Welcome to another playoff edition. Yes, you just saw me here just a couple hours ago, hour and a half ago or so. We're ready for another playoff action a matchup here at the Game and Rain on campus, Catawba Community College. It is the Valorant Open quarterfinals. Uh, Red Hawks are uh, banning and picking as we speak. The Red Hawks taking on Salt Lake Community College out of Utah. We will show you the bracket really quickly here as things are progressing today. Salt Lake defeating LC Palominos, 2-0. Catawba Valley winning 2-0 against Navarro. So they're meeting in the semifinals. The winner of this matchup will take on either Union or Madison in the semifinals, which will take place on Monday. So the national semifinals. The bottom half of the bracket looks as so. So Northeast Oklahoma A&M, the number three seed, uh, and the number six seed, Terra State, advancing through their bracket, going pretty much chalk after a few little first-round upsets. Uh, they'll take on the winner of Northern Virginia, and we're kind of shocked this matchup hasn't finished. Onondaga and Mass Bay hasn't finished yet. So our Red Hawks are preparing for their first matchup, uh, or their second matchup of the day, their quarterfinal matchup, the Elite Eight. The Red Hawks are in. Of course, the number eight seed, so they, you know, if things go as the bracket goes, they should have been, should be in this spot, and they are. So we will uh, – we will figure out a little bit here uh, as the bracket progresses. Looks like Mass Bay actually defeated Onondaga. So Mass Bay, M Mass Bay 2-1 against Onondaga. So Mass Bay on the other side of the bracket, they were in our group. We tied for the group win with Onondaga. So, so there's the lineup there. Lead eight, Red Hawks taking on SLCC. They're undefeated on the season. Did not lose a single match. So it looks like we have our first map selection as the Red Hawks will be giving Icebox to Icebox will be going the way of the first map to um, SLCC, Salt Lake Community College. So Red Hawks will pick their side and then they'll pick map two. Then Red Hawks with a 13-2, 13-4 victory against Navarro in the second round. They had a first round bye. Winner of this advances to competition on Thursday, I believe, or uh, Monday. I can tell you for sure. See, it's Valorant. Uh, tomorrow at 7.30 will be the semifinals, and then the championship is Friday at 6.30. And tomorrow, the FIFA matchup is well taking place. East Day will, ta will play at 7 o'clock against uh, Dallas College Mountain View. And if he wins, he will advance to his championship game, which is 8 o'clock on Saturday night. So big weekend for the Red Hawks. A lot of playoff games, a lot of matchups, a lot of, a lot of the LAN event coming up. Again, cheap plug for the LAN. If you would like to come join us this weekend, April 22nd, 23rd, Saturday and Sunday, we are having a land camp series land event in our Tarleton Complex Center, a Carl Tarleton Complex Basketball Arena. And it's $20 to register per person. So, and a, for a team of five of Valorant, it's ninety dollars. For a team of three of Rocket League, it's fifty-four. If you register together, so you get a little bit of a discount. Uh, a nine hundred dollar prize pool, as you see there. So come out and join us and uh, be a part of that event. Uh, got a bunch of sponsors for that. Thank you, Mr. Gaming Lounge, twenty-five North College Avenue in Newton. They are a sponsor of this event. Also, big shout out to Matt's Man Cave Arcade. If you need an arcade machine for your business or 
or any place of uh, that you have or leisure, maybe you want it for your house, uh, exclamation point man cave in the chat. Um, if you buy a product from him, tell him CVCC Sports sent you, and I believe he's going to donate two hundred dollars to our program. So pretty pretty special there uh, relationship. So map picks and selections are going. So let's uh, get a quick uh, message. We'll come back and do map picks and bands or do a uh, get set up for our matchup here. Coach is going to load back into Valorant so I can spectate and watch our team play and cast this uh, quarterfinal matchup. Let's see if I can get this uh, loaded up. Figure out what my balance not loading up here. Again, thanks for joining us on this Sunday afternoon for Valorant Playoffs, supporting our student athletes. If you've got a sub in chat, make sure you use it. Amazon Prime, it is free. The proceeds that we raise from this channel helps our student athletes in our program if we have needs, scholarships, etc. So we appreciate any, any financial support you want to give us. You can also exclamation point donate. So I finally got it to load. If I can get Bauer to load, it is loaded finally. So be right back in just one moment. Stay with us. Does, uh, does Texas service work for you guys? Texas will work. Okay, thank you. Did, did we already cycle through all the other servers? Yeah, oh, I cycled sure through them all. I can, I can go back to Ellie if you want to look at that. It puts us as a high ping. Uh, here's Georgia. So apologies having to give our team just a quick little pep talk as we're getting ready for our uh, match tonight, let's show you kind of what you're looking forward to. So first map of the night is going to be Icebox, and my Icebox button is broke. I apologize. So you won't be able to see Icebox. Uh, map number two is going to be Lotus. And if necessary, so you take a look at Lotus. Lotus is the newest, one of the newest maps in the pool. 
or the newest map in the pool. And then if necessary, our third and final map is going to be Pearl. Here is Pearl. Red Hawks will be on attack every single side. Again, the rules of Valorant, two teams of five agents. The objective is to plant or detonate the spike if you're on the attack or defuse the spike if you're on defense or eliminate the enemy team. If the, obviously the bomb goes off on defense, you lose. And if you're on attack, you win. The first to 13 rounds per map is going to win tonight. And the best three, best of three maps tonight is going to be the victor is going to advance to Monday's semifinals here in the NJCAAE Open season. So we'll pull you to the game screen here. Red Hawks getting ready to gear up here. So Red Hawks versus SLCC Esports. I believe they are the Bears. They are out of Salt Lake City, Utah, as you would imagine. I am checking to see what the mascot is. They're the Bruins. Okay, I did see a bear, so Bruins versus Red Hawks here in the quarterfinals. Winner will take on either Union College or Madison in tomorrow's semifinals at 7.30. So we'll see here. Yes, here we go. Map number one, it is Icebox. As we see the hovers here, Flitz hovering with a Interesting composition here. Well, trying some interesting stuff. No duelist comp here. We have Gecko. We have double initiator, double senti here. No duelist possibly. A roll gonna lock in with Sage. Vandry locking in with the Viper. Melbourne locking in with Killjoy Sky. And it actually it is gonna be double double inish, double Sentinel. Composition here for your Red Hawks. As our team is doing some interesting pre match exercises, I think. I don't know what's going across the room. So here we go. Icebox looks like Bunny Buho, who is Ray's Sage. Viper. Let's take a look at their composition. Rays, Sage, Viper, uh, KJ, and Sova. So double Sentinel with a duelist controller and initiator. Red Hawks gave up that duelist to run an extra initiator. So we'll see how, how that plays out. This Red Hawks will be on attack, attack, attack. Map one, two, and three if necessary. See how they play this. See how the Red Hawks play this. Bailey is. Girl pushing forward here as Alchemist and not getting the first two eliminations there. Bucket, there's your dab. Renox losing two. Wingman's planting. Wingman gonna plant the spike here. Red Hawks can get the bomb down. Thanks, little man. Bailey positioned in mid here. I'm gonna get cleared out there. Someone's there. Last play. 
player standing. It's a safe wall now. And it's going to be a flawless round for Team Salt Lake to start off with. Like, why can't we just hug it out? So SLCC taking the first round there. And again, uh, Red Hawks were undefeated in Pistols last match. So it be interesting to see how Red Hawks respond off of this. one nothing Salt Lake in the lead. Salt Lake had the largest round differential. They are the top seed in this tournament had the largest round differential of any school. It's like Sky gonna have a good rotate here. Sage wall, interesting sage wall. Knox taking Chroma down. Red Hawks playing a good retake here, though. Knox on the defuse here. Or, uh, SLCC on the defuse. And they defused it there. Salt Lake taking the first two rounds here. This was the Bruins map pick here. Noticed a tendency, they like to play a lot of Ascent. They like to play a lot of Icebox. Red Hawks decided to let them have Icebox. They banned Haven and Split. Or A banned Haven, we banned Split. And then we banned Ascent. We did not let them have Ascent. with weaponry now. Guardian, Phantom, and three Vandals. Only half shields, though, for Egg Roll. Good pick there from Chroma. As Eggie did not clear the corner there. A key gonna get probably a weapon out of that. Viper wall goes up. Melbourne okay. pushes up here. Interesting play off of this. Not sure I would have pushed up that far. Let's get one out of it. Saw you, Mush. Over there, over there. Pull caps. Up and away. Blind. Somebody's there. Right there. Nice. Good pick there for CVCC. One enemy remaining. Another pick. We got it, we got it. Last player standing. And the Red Hawks do give up weaponry there, but they do get their first round of the of this matchup. One to two here against Salt Lake. Don't jinx it though. Stay humble. Help a girl out. Good, good way to respond for the Red Hawks. They are, they do lose a lot of weaponry though. So see how the Red Hawks uh, play this now. Again, it's been top, top seed so far. So Red Hawks trying to be the. One of the first teams to get a pretty big upset here in this tournament. We're all going to grab a... Sage wall preventing the Red Hawks from getting there. Is Vander going to take some damage? Yeah, we're all going to get a pick on Tipsy there, so no healer now. Red Hawks running double heals here. Is everybody going to get full health? Wow. As Bunny Ho, Bunny, Bun Boo, Bun Boo Hoo, 
don't even know how to say it. Apologies for your SLCC fan. Slow going in there. Oh wow, egg roll with the 4K. Has a chance to get. And Chroma gets elimination, so two to two here. Red Hawks keeping a lot of that weaponry and they get the plant down, so plant money coming to the CBCC. Four eliminations for Egg Roll, three apiece for Vandry and Melbourne, three each for Akai, Tipsy, and Knox. I don't, I don't even know how to say the name. I'm, I'm, if it's Akai, apologies again if you're a SLCC fan. This is our Red Hawks tied to they dropped the first two rounds and they've responded. They got weaponry and now they've getting some confidence back. Chroma gonna accidentally flash himself. Looks like Flitz, I believe, sent the thrash there. Enemy spotted. This is up top. Dizzy's not going to land anybody. Flitz is going to clear out the backside of yellow. Reclaim that Dizzy. Red Hawks have five to three advantage now. Eggroll gets another kill, spots another player there in, I, uh, in uh, Snowman. do not have to peek here. Alchemist picks out Flitz. Could be a couple players in Snowman, and it is. As Agro gets a 3K there, Red Hawks take a 3-2 advantage here after dropping those first two rounds early. Take a look at the scoreboard. Three eliminations for Agro, four for Vandry, and three for Melbourne and Flitz. Three each for Alchemist, Knox, Tipsy, Akai, and Bun Boo Hu is not far behind there as uh, all five players for Salt Lake are one one elimination away from an ult point or grabbing an orb from an ult point or from an ultimate. Red Hawks with two ultimates on board right now. So interesting to see. This might be an interesting round depending on how the eliminations go. Chroma gonna send his ultimate ability out. He's gonna flash ahead. Chroma's gonna clear out back sight there. Looks like a couple players are spotted on rafters. And we're gonna take that fight and take out Knox. Skies with the heel or uh, the sky with the heel again for Omar. Hopefully nobody's watching flank here. Could be, well, the turret's watching flank. Revive for Flitz. One enemy remaining. Here. Red Hawks are gonna take round number six here. Is it gonna cost them a weapon? No, it doesn't. Wow, four to two here, top of Valley in the lead. Take a look at the leaderboard. 10 eliminations for Eggroll, who is playing stout today. Uh, had a kind of a rough first map, played decent the first map, but ever since that second map of our last game, he's really come alive, really been playing at a demon level. Four to Catawba Valley on top of Salt Lake. Red Hawks have already beaten Texas today. They hope to add Utah to that list of states where they take a victory. Welcome to my world. Looks like Viper Ult's gonna be played here on A site. KJ Ult though is gonna take that out of range. Double KJ Ult's here. Get out of there, so thankfully. 
Egg roll still stays on site though. It's Red Hawks. Maintain presence. Looks like see looks like he's gonna be able to get out of there too. What a great what a great use of that wall too. Hellborn gonna put down some KJ utility here. Revive there, so now we're back to even numbers here. Hellborn spots a player. Tried this once already. Don't know if it's gonna work again this time. Hellborn gets two there. It more than works. As it's 5v3 here. Aggro gets two and Melbourne gets three. Call it a full house. Three and two. Three for Melbourne, two for Aggro as the Red Hawks take round five. Five rounds in a row here for the Red Hawks. On Icebox, the map pick of the Bruins. So CVCC going to try to keep making headway. 12 and three for Aggro. Five eliminations for Tipsy to lead SLCC. And the Bruins, the Bruins, I don't believe, lost a map this entire season. And it's still early, but Red Hawks are giving. Adjustments coming in. It's Melbourne holding on A site. Two picks there for Melbourne, so that's good. At least a little bit of damage. Oh, an unfortunate. Knox and Bun Boo Hugh taking out the Red Hawks. So the Bruins respond after five straight round wins for CBCC. So 5-3 here on Icebox. Even with numbers, anything can still happen. Leaderboard again. Remember. 12 for Egg Roll, 5 apiece for Tipsy, Knox, and Bun, Bo, Bun Bo Hugh. I can't, I'm not going to be able to get that yeah. name right before it's even over with, yeah. I think. Bun, Bun right Bo right Hugh. Here. Might just say BBH and call it a day. Red Hawks up 5 3 here on yeah. attack side of Icebox. This is kind of a defense-sided map, so. Izzy comes in. The Hawks are going to plant close here. They clear off. One player still back yellow. Good pick there from Vandry. Somebody is on the bomb there. Unfortunate there. As Red Hawks lose round number nine here, five four. Standing in between us and victory. Curious why they planted close side. Right there. Here we go. Red Hawk's going to have enough money to buy. Vandry's got a ton of money. Could have bought somebody for the team. Can someone get this? And he does. It's like ears burning here. Found one. The economy is so important to this game. Karma sending out the alt. Spike down A. Old going to go down. Eggy's going to back it up here. Heal himself. Does have utility. Looks like Vandry going to stay over here. 
Your duty is not over. And a res going to come as well. You got to use it. Alarm bot out. Bomb is being planted. My chroma. I believe Melbourne is going to be the first to contact here, probably. Spot out Melbourne. Terminated. And for some reason, Sova. Oh, what a 3K for Melbourne. The positioning, unbelievable. As Edgar gets the final elimination. 6 4. As uh, Melbourne looks over at me with just a smile on their face. That was uh, very well played. It's really surprising the Sova just did not spot Sky with the drone there. I say Sky, I mean Melbourne. Melbourne, whose name is Sky. Not to confuse everybody, not the actual Sky. So 6 4, Katab Valley in the lead here on the opening half of map number one against SLCC, Salt Lake Community College Bruins. Spot one player backside of yellow, probably. Oh. Eggy gonna wall it off. They did kill the wingman. Eggy in kind of a tight spot here. Unfortunate there. KJ Ult gonna come into play here. Allow the Red Hawks to replant. Uh, no, I thought it was. Uh, Two players flank. Good pick there is Flitz and Chroma staying on site here. One enemy One remaining. Ah, that's good 2v2 there. Flitz and Chroma. The two uh, younger of our players here. Just putting in work 7-4. Catawba Valley here on the attack side of Icebox. 15 eliminations for Egg Rolls. 12 for Melbourne. 8 for Tipsy to lead SLCC. It's the Red Hawks up here as we approach halftime of this first map. Again, this was the map pick of SLCC. So if Red Hawks can win this map, it would be a huge advantage. Viper ult comes out for Viper ult went on play, but I'm not sure where it's at. It might be on B site. Wingman's gonna play into the bomb. Bomb goes down. KJ Utility watching that flank. Red Hawks have a 5v4 advantage here. Looks like Vandery might be playing back with this KJ. Viper lineup Molly's coming in. One enemy remaining. Melbourne gets the final kill, and the Red Hawks take 
round number 12, and they lead the half 8-4. Take a look at the halftime statistics. 16 for Eggroll, 13 for Melbourne, 8 for Flitz, and 6 apiece for Vandry and Chroma. Tipsy leading the Bruins with 8 eliminations, 7-6, seven, 6-6, six, six, and 5, so pretty, pretty well split for the Red. Pretty well. Pretty well split for the uh, Bruins and Red Hawks. You know, right now, Egg Roll and Melbourne playing extremely well. But it is a team effort. It takes five true people to win this game. Keep doing what you do best. And the Red Hawks trying to do just that. Melbourne gets one pick there as players coming through mid. Almost getting walled in there. Good pick there. Last player standing. Chroma missing shots there. One enemy remaining. What? She just... <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, as Chroma tried to play that well. It's unfortunate on the pistol there, so SLCC takes again takes the pistol. So 8-5. Bruins winning the first round of the attack side and the defense side. And Red Hawks need five rounds to take this opening map. Bruins need eight. Make it happen. We both need the numbers that they both possess now as we've played 13 rounds. Here is round number 14. Good pick there for Eggroll with the Sheriff. I'll get that first pick, so that's good. Weapon here. Right there. Flit's gonna try to get the or egg roll, gonna try to grab this bulldog. And he's gonna get it. Spike planted. And Bomb goes down on B side. As Bun, Boo, Hugh was lurking in mid. There is a Reloading. Spectre there, so Red Hawk's gonna get some. Be line up city here. Last player standing. As Akai close it out for round 14, out for SLCC. Fortunately for the Red Hawks, they didn't. They were kind of outgunned a little bit. Bun. Bo Hugh was lurking in mid and actually took out a couple of Red Hawks there. The lurk and the kind of playing mid area worked out well. We've seen the Red Hawks do that too. Dizzy's up. Dizzy has targets. You did good. Let's throw that Dizzy right up in the air. Gets it right back. Push down in the kitchen area. Cool cash. Yes. Oh. They defaulted through here. Dizzy's not going to get anybody for 
Salt Lake. It looks like the full send may be coming here. Egg roll with a good pick on Knox there. Vandry and Chroma both getting a pick. Get some weaponry, they get the gun, get the momentum, and again, this is how this happened last time. First two rounds went to SLCC. Red Hawks roared back and got five in a row. If they if they do that, they're gonna they're gonna take this first map. Good retake from CVCC. As we once again hear the uh, self-proclaimed dog pound with some barks across the way here in the gaming arena. Great communication and job at CVCC to uh, really come together there. Keep it cool. That's how you survive. Pack out. Blinded. Where am I gonna? Blitz on the weight here. Good two picks for Blitz. Gets out of dodge. Gets a third pick. Oh. Last one planted. And planted the... Planted themselves into a very bad possibility because when that bomb went down, that wall cracked. Thanks. So CVCC up 10 6 here on the opening map of this quarterfinal contest against Salt Lake Community College. Again, the winner of this will advance to the semifinals of the NJCA Open. This is the first map, though. there for egg roll right off the rip now born unloads an entire clip there into that smoke Another player there. It's a good pick for Chroma. 11 and 6. I could hear across the room here Bailey say, they don't know I'm here, and they didn't. And he got two really key picks there, leaving one player left standing. So CVCC 11 6 now. 22 eliminations for Egg Roll, 17 for Melbourne, 11 apiece for Chrome and Flitz, and the IGL Vandery doing what they got to do as controller at nine and elimination six assists, 11 apiece for Tipsy, Akai, and Bun Bo Hugh. Slowly getting that name right here. CBCC just two round wins away here from taking the opening map here. Good thrash there sent in by Flitz. Enemy down. 
Egg roll gonna take out Akai. So we're back to even here. Again, another trade as it's 3v3. that spike down. Still no information here. So it's 3v3 KJ Viper and Rays against KJ Viper and Sky. KJ ult gonna go down on A which probably means the KJ ult, the bomb's probably gonna go down on A site. I would think. Nothing now. Actually, it is now. Spike planted. I don't spot one player there. This is Bailey versus the world, 3v3 as the Red Hawks win round 18, 12-6 now to put the Bruins on match point. Match point. For map number one here, it was the Bruins map pick. So this is a good sign here for the Red Hawks. SLCC had the highest round differential of any team in our group. We weren't sure what to expect here. But it is Red Hawks up 12-6 here as they they dropped the first two rounds of both maps, but then responded. Well, can't get too cocky here though. You can't let a team. Looks like Eggy gonna lurk here, see if this potentially pays off. Flips and Vandery. <laughs> Wasted ult there. Another pick for Flips, another pick for Flips. And if Flips can get this final elimination, it's going to be the map for the Red Hawks. 70 health in the dream. Not sure if that KJ had been tagged or not. Patience here from the first year player for the Red Hawks. Can he close it out for them? Seconds left. Bomb is gonna go down on B site. You have to know that the KJ Molly. Wow, and the patience. The patience. Is the wingman gonna defuse and the Red Hawks are gonna take the opening round. 13-6 here to take a 1-0 lead here against the top seed Bruins. Great job by CVCC. And we'll take a look at the leaderboard here. Get my face out of the way here for that opening game. 12 eliminations for Egg Roll, 18 for Melbourne, 15 for Flitz, 12 for Chroma, and 10 for Vandery. A game high, nine assists for Chroma. So the Red Hawks Doing what doing Red Hawk things as we're getting we'll get ready for map number two. We'll be right back. We'll take a quick little break here 
and we'll get set for our second map of this contest. It'll be Lotus. Red Hawks will be on attack. They're going to try to close it out and get to the semifinals. Be right back. Just one moment. Red Fox Gaming located at 2111 Catawba Valley Boulevard, Southeast in Hickory, open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Sunday, 1 through 7 p.m. Red Fox is a locally owned video game store that buys, sells, and trades all of your video game favorites from older titles like the classic NES to next generation consoles like the PS5, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo Switch. Bring a piece of Japan home with you with a large assortment of imported foods and beverages. Take a look at all the toys, plush, posters, figures, collectibles, and trading cards, including Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, and more. Oh, and did we mention the Japanese manga and graphic novels section as well as our selection of vinyl records? Last, but certainly not least, make sure you check out the giant wall of pop vinyl figures and take home something for you or that special someone in your life. Red Fox Gaming, levels above the competition, an official sponsor of the CBCC Esports program. What a play. NJCAAE is entertainment. NJCAAE is education. NJCAAE is for everyone. NJCAAE, get in the game. Red Fox Gaming, located at 2111 Catawba Valley Boulevard, Southeast in Hickory, open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Sunday, 1 through 7 p.m. Red Fox is a locally owned video game store that buys, sells, and trades all of your video game favorites from older titles like the classic NES to next generation consoles like the PS5, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo Switch. Bring a piece of Japan home with you with a large assortment of imported foods and beverages. Take a look at all the toys, plush, posters, figures, collectibles, and trading cards, including Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, and more. Oh, and did we mention the Japanese manga and graphic novels section as well as our selection of vinyl records? Last, but certainly not least, make sure you check out the giant wall of pop vinyl figures and take home something for you or that special someone in your life. Red Fox Gaming, levels above the competition, an official sponsor of the CBCC Esports program. 
And we're back here in the gaming arena on CVCC's campus getting ready for map number two. It's going to be Lotus. Our Red Hawks winning a 13-6 icebox, a map that a map that was dominated really this season by this Salt Lake Community College team, but the Red Hawks winning it in pretty good fashion as we come to Lotus. Looks like the Red Hawks have started a new playoff ritual or something ritual. So looks like the Hoggers flits with the Rays, Chroma with the Sky, Melbourne with the KJ, Vandery hovering with the Fade. Eggroll does lock in as the first person with Omen. Here come the rest of the locks, and they are locked. So flits with Rays, Chroma, Sky. Melbourne goes with KJ, Vandery to Fade, and Eggroll picks Omen here on uh, Lotus. I almost said Haven. I don't know why. Red Hawks played two uh, three-sided map, both of the three-sided maps these two day today. And again, if they they can lock it up, they're going to advance here in this playoff. <laughs> See if any scores have been reported for this tournament. So it's still quarterfinal still to be played. Red Hawks again taking the first round here. It's undefeated Salt Lake. Red Hawks trying to give their all here. Salt Lake at eight and O. Red Hawks at seven and one. Trying to hand somebody giving a SpongeBob-esque laugh there. Take out the looks for uh, SLCC Jet, Bun Boo Hugh. Tipsy goes with Cypher, Knox goes with Astra, Alchemist with Breach, and Akai with the Rays. So double duelist for the way of the Bruins. I bet their Jet thinks she's all that. Uh, yes, Bell, we are between maps. I'll take her and Red Hawks. Uh, yeah, Red Hawks won Icebox 13 6. Red Hawks saying good luck, have fun. So, good sportsmen by both these teams. I know everybody trying to chase that championship trophy. It's going to be a tough road here. Redhawks pushing into Seaside. Tom is going to go down for egg roll. Player in Waterfall, no blood been drawn yet. Eggroll gonna pick off the first one, that is Alchemist. Good pick. Last one on Spike, and unfortunate, Red Hawks do get the, Red Hawks do drop the first round here on Lotus. Pistol rounds, Red Hawks have struggled on those in this second matchup. Red Hawks 
Gray has them here. Could be a Sim 2C here. We'll see. Hear that Cypher. Of course, I like playing Cypher on this map. Uh, Sky loves playing, or I say Sky, Melbourne loves playing the KJ on this map. Redhawk's going quiet here with a minute to go here in the round. Little tag there for Redhawk's bun boo. Spike down. Good pick there for Bandry. Takes that area's out of play. 30 seconds left. Bailey watching the spike plant here. Red Hawks are going to get the plant down. As he gets swarmed as Knox takes down Flitz. Uh, currently driving to Greensboro, so wanted to check in. Oh, thanks, Bell. Appreciate you. Red Hawks dropped the first round, two rounds of Lotus here. Take a look at the leaderboard. Three pit eliminations for Vandry. Bun, Bo, Hugh with three to lead SLCC. Everybody, Red Hawks will have full Vandals and Phantoms here. So they're down 0 2 here. And what's crazy is they were down 0 2 twice last map and came back to win multiple rounds. Good pick for Vandery. Another pick there. Two picks for Melbourne. Those Redhawks have full full control of where they want to go now. You can go at C, you can go. Another pick there for Flitz. Redhawks have a 5v1 advantage here. They know where that Astra is going to be coming from, most likely. She may be holding here. As a flawless third round for the Red Hawks. Taking it down, one, two there. So full, util full uh, gunnery and the Red Hawks are back in action again. One to two here. Reloading. Top of Valley on the board here on map number two, Lotus. Reload. Red Hawks look like they may be going A again. Good lurk from Sky. Operator bought up by SLCC. Operator is down now. There's a lot of money to waste on the operator. Reloading. Chroma gets Nox there. 4v3 advantage now. Bring them down. Let the spike. Tree cleared. Spike down A. Two on site, but the bomb also down on site. Good pick there for Melbourne. Melbourne also has ult here, so we could play the ult. Maybe push these players off site. Last player standing. Thirty seconds. Left. Good pick for Bailey. Don't think he's gonna get that plant off in time, but that's okay. Two to two here. Good response from CVCC. Good way to play together. It's two to two here. Tied again. And the Red Hawks have weaponry. Again, SLCC in trouble with uh, their... Yeah. 
buy situation, not a lot of money. And again, bought that operator. I'm really shocked that uh, Bun Bo Hugh bought the operator because you kind of really break your team's back there, economy-wise. Good pick, egg roll. Spike down. See. Dogs on a four v two here. One enemy remains. Both main. As Vandry gets Knox, who took out Flitz, gets the trade there. Red Hawks up three two here. One dream ends. Another begins. Seven apiece for Melbourne and Vandry right now. Four and four for Bun, Bo, Hugh, and Akai. Akai, I'm not sure how to say that. So it's three to two, Catawba Valley in the lead. Trying to get to the semifinals for back-to-back -back semesters in Valorant. Become the fourth team this spring to breach the semifinals. That'd be a program record. Let's take that tipsy. Spike down. No joy comes down. He's going to try to plant bomb. They are going to take one player is going to be detained. You want to fight it. Astra ult comes into play here. It's 1v1 here. Swarm grenade out. He saved the op to give the Red Hawks the round. 4 2, Catawba Valley in the lead. And again, that operator, you, you waste a lot of money. And that's hurt the Bruins twice now. Nine eliminations for Vandry, eight for Melbourne, five apiece for Bun and Akai. CVCC up. They've won four straight rounds. Gonna oh, try to pull this again. I'm not sure. Melbourne with the lurk here. Good pick there from Sky. Blitz gets a pick there. It's 4v3 here. Operator again backside. Operator is now gone. Oh wow, and Bandry just doing very well here. Is Bandry gonna spot? Gonna spot that Astra. Although, after that alarm bot goes off, she may switch paths. We'll see here. Got a feeling she may be coming Melbourne's way here. Dogs have all bases covered here, though. And another pick there, 3K for Vandry, five to two. Well, I reckon morale's gonna be pretty low over there. Okay. 
Red Hawks for the third straight half have responded with five consecutive round wins after two round losses. Blitz gets a pick on Bun right off the rip. Red Hawks explode again on the site. Hawks again once have site control. The lurk here from egg roll is going to be big. One enemy remaining. As egg roll gets both players there, didn't even need the mollies from Sky. Six to two here. Catawba Valley in the lead. We won't lose. Red Hawks continuing to say, we won't see, we won't see, we won't see. And the Bruins have no response for it. Six to two. Reloading. Don't keep them brown. There. Six to Oh, Zakai takes out Flitz, but Chroma answers. Oh, not a good teleport there. Bomb is going to go down. One down. Last player standing. Swarm grenade out. I just heard Sky say 124 is what they hit them for. Dreams are funny. Six thing. to three, Red Hawks in the lead. Get a drop? Take a look at the leaderboard: 12 for Melbourne, 12 for Vandry, nine for Bun, and seven for Akai. So 12 apiece for Melbourne, Vandry to lead Red Hawks, nine and seven for Bun Thanks. and Akai to lead the Bruins. Yeah. Red Hawks are almost halfway to what they need here to take our second map of the night and hopefully advance to as Knox takes out both Flitz and Melbourne Red Hawks thought they had the drop here I know exactly where you are. Cover going out. Shadows traveling. Negro kind of in danger here. Really tough spot to be. No more. But Akai going to take out. Get taken out. Vandry takes out one. And Red Hawks playing the retake game here very well. Nobody, though, watching flank, although two players in tree. Actually, I say that as Bailey looks at flank. Take them. Uh, uh. Oh, one player on the flank there. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Time to hunt. They can cuss. Chroma's gonna have to get there quickly. And does not. So six, four. Rocks tried to play together there. And fortunately that didn't work out. It was a risk you had to kind of take, I feel like. It's a tough situation. Do you swing with your teammate 
Or do you stay in tree area? Red Hawks could have both stayed in tree. Probably would have been in better shape. 6-4 here. Six straight round wins on the Red Hawks. Go back to the bread and butter. Sight dead. Good traits there for three to two here. Red Hawk's gonna put the bomb down. Good old there from the KJ. Good call from Vandry heard across the room. He said, we all play back. As one player is detained. So that's kind of a bait decoy. Red Hawks will win round number 11, seven to four. They're past the halfway point of what they need here. Great job of CVCC. Last round in the half. Don't save anything. Last round. Before the half as Red Hawks will swap sides. They are attack, they'll be defense. Thanks. A round win here would be very, very big. Red Hawks just need seven rounds to advance to the semifinals the second consecutive year. Split's going to take out. Tipsy there. Because they know where the last two are, I believe. Bring them down. You want to fight it? Fire it. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Wow, as Knox gets a 4K, but Bandry takes it out. Eight to four. Catawba Valley taking the attack half. Take a look at the halftime statistics. 17 for Vandry, 13 for Melbourne, 10 for Egg Roll, six of Peaks for Chrome and Flitz. And uh, for the side of the Bruins, 13 for Bun, 11 for Knox to lead the Bruins. Reloading. Red Hawks take the attack side, eight four. They are just five round wins away. Don't want to jinx it. Five round wins away from taking this map to see how the Bruins play this defense side. Shut and lock the door. Cover going out. Looks like. The Bruins might be trying a taste of CVCC's medicine here. So I'm kind of confused why Flitz is pushing back here. I think he might be might have been grabbing an orb. No trades here at all. It's going to be chaos here in just a second. Uh, trade. Three v three here. Last player standing. Team Ace. And Team Ace for SLCC. Red Hawks dropping another pistol round here. So eight and five. Yeah. 
So 8.5 CVCC dropping again pistols. They were flawless on pistols the first matchup against Navarro. And they have not won a pistol yet. As it's full Navarro, or full... Melbourne got the good lark here. So you, you got to know SLCC is going to be full force onto that A site. Here. Good pick there for egg roll. Gonna lead to another Red Hawk gun. As it's 3v3 yet again. Red Hawks have played the retake game very well here. Reloading. 3v2 here. Nine to five here. Okay, I only have like seventeen. Top of Valley in the lead. Just four round wins away. They broke that streak. They used to they had been losing back to back rounds. Um, but that actually broke that streak. Only one round loss and then a an instant answer, man. So maybe Red Hawks are starting to get in a good groove here. It's nine to five Red Hawks. There. No horn watching sea long here. Healing over here. Good heals are for Chroma. Swarm grenade out. Could be a send in for. See here, it may come see here now. Good double kill there. Again, it's back to even. Play by Flitz there uses the blast pack to get himself up as it was half. 10 5 Catawba Valley in the lead. 20 eliminations for Vandry, 13 for Melbourne, 12 for Eggroll, 10 and 10, a double double for Chroma, and 9 for Flitz. Bun with 15, 13 for Knox, and 11 for Akai as the Red Hawks have responded. You gotta love the grit of this team. How they've played. There. Flitz pushing up here, real sneaky like. Clears all the space. Smoking off area here. Seekers coming into play.
Good trades again. I know exactly where you are. And Cypher all gonna come into play. Bomb is gonna go down just in the waning seconds. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. There, take them! Off your feet! Mark one. Oh, you did not know. And Red Hawks are going to give up that round. They are going to cause the Bruins to give up a lot of the ult utility ults and whatnot. So 10 6. Top of Valley in the lead. It's been interesting to watch this Bruin team play this map. Um, they, they don't really commit to one side. Red Hawks kind of push them off that commitment. And uh, they've they've kind of done like CVCC did and really push C aggressively. The only thing is they, they can't really def uh, defend it as well once that bomb goes down. Red Hawks were, still got it to a 1v1 last time, so it was really, really interesting to see. I'm going to put some utility in to tree. You are divided! Two eliminations from Melbourne. And the spike. There. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Good plays there for the Red Hawks. Again, trades a plenty. They're going to take round 17, 11 to 6. Red Hawks closing in so much on match point here. And it's impressive how the Red Hawks have done this. This this SLCC team had a, I believe, a plus 100 and something round differential on the opponents that they had defeated. And right now they are uh, they are negative. If I can do the math, I had 24 minus 12, the negative 12 on their round differential today. Red Hawks have held them in check as they try to get to the semifinals of this tournament. Well, they'll take on either Madison. Bandery and Flitz both getting a pick. Oh, as that grenade gets Vandery flush. Smodge, Schmodge, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Schmoge. I don't know how to say that. So it is 4v3 here. Red Hawks in great position. Turret's destroyed. Cover going out. Could be a hit to see here as the turret goes down at B. As both Bun, Bo, Hugh takes down both Chroma and I think that was Flitz. No. Thirty seconds left. Last player standing. Wow, and Bun with a 3K now. And a 4K from Bun, Bo. So 
SLCC takes round number 18 here. Timeout for the Red Hawks. So their lone timeout of the series they take now. Kind of reset a little bit. Get back into the momentum. And it appears Noah, uh, the only matchup right now that's been determined Northeast Oklahoma A&M has moved on to the semifinals. They defeated Terra State 2-0. No results from uh, Northern, Northern Virginia and NBCC and no results from Union College and Madison right now. Still waiting to see how those matchups play out. Here we go, round number 19. Red Hawks two round wins away from advancing here. They are going to be on a save round. Let's see, Frenzy Sheriff, Classics. There for Vandry. Another pick for Vandry with the pistol. Last player standing. Red Hawks do take out some guns here. So it does look like they are going to indeed hit B here. Or C here, excuse me. Spike planted. See how Melbourne tries to play this. Try to go through their spawn here. I try to catch these, catch these Bruins off guard here on the save. He's got nothing to save here. So they're going to run away, save their weaponry. Melbourne's going to die, and I believe that gives the Red Hawks a little bit more money dying to the bomb. I was told about that kind of strategy Whatever by our players. Didn't know such a thing. 11-8 so here. Catawba Valley still leading. They're going to have money now to buy that. Except for Egg Roll. Egg Roll only have half shield. Healthy economy for the way of the Bruins. CBCC in the lead, trying to close this out. Good picks there from Bandery. Flitz, another one from Flitz. They have cleared out the entire A site. See that one enemy remaining. Spike, Spike down, down for CVCC. No charges. Bring them down. It's Red Hawks take. Round number 20. And it is match. Map point. Match point. Timeout for. That's a second. That's a second. They used that first round. The first game. I don't think they did. Wait. No, that wasn't. No, no, no. no.
talking to our players during this timeout because I'm allowed them 45 seconds. This is the lone timeouts for both CBCC and SLCC. Catawba Valley has put the Bruins on the match point here. So 12-8, Catawba Valley in the lead. Match point, they got several chances at this. Let's just hope it takes one. Against the undefeated Bruins, the Red Hawks have shown. Good information with the old. Good pick. Another pick for CBCC. Another pick. Can Eggroll get the ace? It's over. It is over. And <laughs> splits. Kills his own teammate, 13-8. 13-6, the Red Hawks have advanced to the semifinals of the NJCAA tournament. They take Lotus. Hit coaches head out of the way again. Here's the final scoreboard. Take a look at the uh, leaderboard here. So, Vandery with 27 eliminations, 17 for Melbourne, 17 for Aggie, 15 for Flitz, 11 for Chroma with a game high 14 assists. Uh, Bunbo with 22 and Akai with 16. So, Red Hawks advance to the NJCAA E semifinals. What a great way! Uh, to close out, I guess, the week and start a new week tomorrow. There you go, Zero Who. There's your coach tab. Tomorrow, our Red Hawks will take on the winner of uh, Madison. It's uh, already determined. Actually, let me get out of this, out of the game. I can pull up the browser here. Yep. So Madison College versus Catawba Valley. Match results are submitted. So there it is. So Catawba Valley against uh, Madison. The, the rivalry continues. There's no there's no menace and no sea dog, but it's it's what we uh, what we have played. <laughs> yeah, Bell did not like the ice the ice box. So I didn't like it either. So, for the first time in program history, our Red Hawks have knocked off two undefeated teams during the regular season, and they are one win away from returning to the national championship. It's not going to be easy. Madison has been a perennial power in Valorant. They've won championships before, knocked off a two-time champion in Nova a couple semesters ago, and I'm sure they want that crown back. Our Red Hawks anxious to try to get their first crown. Uh, on the other side of the bracket, Northeast Oklahoma a and will meet the winner of either NBCC or Nova in that final, um, or in that semifinal. And again, the winner's playing plan for the championship on Friday so afternoon. There's a chance we might play Nova tomorrow? No, we, no, play, we, play, we play Madison. Play Madison. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nova's on the other side. We're playing NBCC. Nova, so congrats to our Red Hawks on a big I, win. No, no, um, NBCC hasn't won. Or... That's going to do it for our stream. Uh, before we go, I would like okay. to do something that I usually don't do. I would like to dedicate the two wins that we had today to a dear friend of mine, Justin Akers, who um, sadly lost his life last night. Um, he was a fraternity brother of mine. He was a great man, a father of two. So if you're watching the stream, Please keep him in his family in your thoughts and prayers. Um, really weird illness, um, but a, a good man, and um, uh, he would be proud of these two wins. So, um, but 
that's for for Justin. I know he's a, somewhere listening. Um, good job, good good wins, and a, and a good not to kill the vibe. It's wonderful wonderful to get back to semifinals, but I'd like to do that. Dedicate those two wins to a dear friend of mine and um, and his family. So that's going to do it. I'm gonna cry here on stream, dear Lord, can end on a, a good win on a bad thing. But uh, congrats again, Red Hawks, Madison tomorrow. Um, it'll be amazing. Um, it's a rivalry renewed. I know a bunch of their uh, I know their coach very well, so it should be fun and really exciting as our Red Hawks chase what they hope will be another national championship tournament appearance in back-to-back -back semesters. Also, shout out to Red Bull as Bailey flexes the Red Bull there. Gotcha. Red Bull's going to be at our land. And again, if you didn't know about our land, our land tournament is taking place uh, this weekend, April, tw uh, This I say this weekend, next weekend, April 22nd, 23rd, exclamation point land. If you'd like more information on that, if you'd like to register, I think registration ends like middle of the week. Rocket League, Smash Bros, Valorant, $20 per person, $90 for a five-person five Valorant team, $54 for a three-person Rocket League team. All the proceeds will help benefit our program, which is really, really cool as well. And, and again, thanks to several people who've helped sponsor it. Mr. Gaming Lounge, 25 North College Avenue, Newton. Please go check them out. Um, they uh, have sponsored a good chunk of it. So, and also shout out to our other sponsors, Respawn Products, Exhibition Point, Respawn if you need a new gaming desk or chair. Obviously, Red Fox Gaming and Hickory, Spencer and his crew are, are top-notch class acts. Uh, go check them out over here on uh, Catawba Valley Boulevard. Uh, they've got a ton of video games, uh, memorabilia, pops, vinyls, everything. Go check them out. Tell them the CVCC sports team sent you. And then also shout out to Corporate Armor, Temperano Tech Investor Company. Appreciate Luke Wally. I know Luke, Luke's been uh, uh, through a lot. I uh, was in a car accident a few weeks ago. But we appreciate all Luke does. He's, uh, he's, he's top notch and he's helped our, our program grow to, to being in the final four of four different, or three different game titles for the first time in program history. It's pretty special and over 100 wins. So again, thank y'all so much. We'll be back tomorrow. FIFA, Valorant, we may have to split the streams again. If we do, we'll let y'all know. Uh, and, but we'll get everything streamed, and that way everybody can know how the Red Hawks are doing. But again, congratulations to Bailey and crew on two wins uh, as they improve to 8-1 and one on the season. And they're in the semifinals for the second straight semester. Pre so, so proud of them, so proud of all of our student athletes. So that's going to do it. Bailey, you got anything? Squall. <laughs> That's about it. We did our we did our thing. Then. Squaws in chat, so they did their thing. Uh, thank y'all so much for the love and support. Y'all take care. Have a blessed Sunday afternoon. We'll see y'all tomorrow for your uh, Red Hawks in the semifinals against Madison. Take care. Peace.